is the summit of Black Rock. There's a pileated woodpecker that flew right in front of me. He's down there right now. And somewhere over there, I can hear a turkey gobbling. As I was walking earlier, I heard a bunch of mm, something scrambling in the brush up above me. Then it stopped. Could it have been a bear? Maybe. little friend. I met Rostalorian at the shelter last night and she's seen four bears in two different encounters. I'm starting to feel a little left out here. Skyline Drive. More deer friends. How am I gonna get past y'all? Huh? Y'all are kind of right on the trail. Do you think I could just pass by real quick? Would that be okay? Hi pretty thing. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh. Oh, retreat, retreat. What a funny little noise that bird makes. All right, just bought lunch and a day's worth of resupply at the camp store. Grills aren't open yet, but here's lunch instead for today. Just bought from the store chicken sandwich, apples, yogurt, milk, iced coffee. If you're real quiet, you can hear the buzz of mini tiny insect wings. The good news is, None of them are biting me, yet. Nice view, you can see Skyline Drive there. And there. Now might be a good time to do tour guide time. So Shenandoah National Park was first created a national park in 1935 under FDR. It has 1.5 million visitors annually. It had a very controversial land acquisition during which they took over over 1,000 private tracts of land. And there are any time between 200 and 1,000 bears here in Shenandoah National Park, which equals one to four bears per every square mile. So if I do the math, I figure I get the chance to see, I don't know, at least a hundred bears throughout my time here. I mean, come on, I have to at least see one, right? There are over 500 miles of hiking trails here within the park. And I finally researched my history. Let's talk about how this Appalachian mountain chain was formed. Between one to 1 1.2 billion years ago, plate tectonic action was happening and continents were colliding and all of this pressure shot rocks up to form a mountain range which at the time was called the Grenville Mountains. During this time enormous amounts of heat, pressure, and time changed these rocks to metamorphic rocks and once the plate tectonic action settled down 
these rocks slowly eroded down to sloping hillsides. About 570 million years ago, the plates began to recede and pull apart, forming an expanding series of volcanic rifts. Lava flowed out of those rifts and flowed over and into the valleys and the hillsides of the Grenville mountain range, eventually forming igneous rock. The plates continued to recede and eventually the gap became so large that water began to fill it, forming what was then called the Lapidus Ocean. Or Lapidus? I'm going to say Lapidus. And over millions of years, all of the ocean life put down a layer of sedimentary rock. Next, about 300 to 400 million years ago, the plates reversed direction once again and they started colliding, this time forming what we call the Appalachian Mountain Range. And it's comprised of all of the previous three layers, the metamorphic rock from the Grenville Mountains, the igneous rock from the lava flows, and the sedimentary rock from the Lapidus Ocean. And about 200 million years ago, that plate tectonic action has stopped and since then, the mountain range has eroded away to what we're seeing today. They say at its peak, it used to be as large and as majestic as the Himalayan mountains. Pretty waterfall. dear friend. Hello cutie dear. Hey pretty. How's your morning going? Having some lunch? Mmm trees. Okay, Gut Hook says I'm at mile 900 and I haven't seen any marker that anyone's made yet. We're gonna go just a little bit further before we take measures into our own hands. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing I kept going. Look what someone did, 900. Wow. Mile 900. That seems like a pretty darn big number to me. I feel like this one's a little anticlimactic though because we are real close to the next one, which is a real big number. Y'all future hikers coming through here, be careful. I've seen quite a bit of poison ivy along the trail today, even right up along the edge of the trail. Tread carefully and look before you set your pack down or sit down. Look what we packed out for dinner. Pickles. Pickles. We're at High Top Hut tonight. Had some good conversation. We got a good group of people down there tonight by the shelter at dinner time. But it is time to turn in for the night. So we are ready for bed. See you guys in the morning.